This really could change your life. I am going to teach you how to go seven days without washing your hair. I have very specific tips and tricks to easily achieve this and have your hair looking beautiful all week long. And I, I know so many of you know the benefits of extending the time period in between washing your hair. I mean, honestly, it just makes your life easier, but it also makes your hair healthier because it really is best to keep the natural oils on your hair as long as possible. Now, my plan is to check in with you every day, give you an update as to what my hair is looking like and give you a daily tip or trick into making this a lot easier. Now, my first tip is if you think this is just insane because you already wash your hair every single day, then I really think you should start this process out a little bit slower. Maybe go two or three days without washing your hair. And you just need to train your scalp into actually producing less oils. Tip number two is to obviously wash your hair on day one. Now, I have two different routes as to how to do this well. Number one would be using a clarifying shampoo, which you should not use all the time. You should use it maybe once a week, because it really strips all of the dead skin cells, the hair buildup, it strips the oils from your hair, leaving a perfectly clean slate. Now, if you don't have a clarifying shampoo or you don't wanna use that, you could also actually shampoo your hair twice. The first time just gets the dirt out, a little bit of buildup, and then the second time just really gets in there even deeper and really gets the, the oils off of your scalp. And it's just, you just wanna start with a fresh, clean slate. Now where the magic comes in, and ironically enough, it's literally called Magic Mist. It's in Commons, Magic Mist. It's a four in one spray. I mean, I love this stuff. If you've been watching my channel, I have used this for years. And when I wanted to create this video, I knew I needed to work with in Common because this is what allows me to make my hair look good for a long time. Huge shout out to them. I was able to get a code for you guys if you wanna try this out. So I will have them linked down below and you can get 25% off site-wide. But if you're gonna try anything, I am telling you guys, you need to try this four-in-one product. So number one, it's a leave-in conditioner. So when I washed my hair preparing for a no wash for seven days, I did not use any conditioner but this is a leave-in conditioner and I can concentrate it more on the lower half of my ends, not at the roots. This is also a hair detangler, it's a smoothing balm, and it's also a heat protectant. So you're getting a lot of benefits in one bottle and this is a huge bottle and it's going to last you a long time. I think you saved $9 with my code, bringing this down to only $26 for like a really big bottle. Now what I do is I spray it, it's a beautiful mist, but spray it again, like, from here down, you know, you don't want your roots to really have much product. Oh, and if you have a little girl, just keep this in mind because as I mentioned, this is a really good hair detangler. Now I'm pretty sure I discovered this product from Hilary Duff years ago. Hilary Duff is obsessed with this. So is Selena Gomez. I saw her recently using it. So anyway, once it's all dispersed in your hair, the next step is critical. This, cru this is crucial. You must blow dry your hair. Blow drying your hair will make it look better. But the real secret is it evaporates the excess moisture and oils from your scalp, meaning that your hair is going to look far less greasy throughout the week. Now, once your hair is fully dry, especially at the roots, then I really think you should style it in some way with a hot tool, whether it be curling it or using a straightener. Um, as I mentioned, this is a heat protectant, so your hair is fully protected. And this also, especially when curling, I am going to curl my hair this week, and I'm gonna show you how long my curl curls will last when I use this magic mist because it just kind of gives a little bit of something for the iron to kind of grip onto and it just makes the, the style last way longer. All right, so this is what my hair looks like after I curl it using my clipping method where I go section by section but then clip each curled section on my head so I have lots of clips and then it just cools in the curled formation. And it just makes your, your hair a little bit more curly than you might like the first day, but it sets them and it makes the style last so much longer throughout the week. And again, this really does make your curls look better and last longer. So I'm going to continue on with my day and we'll see what my hair looks like tomorrow. Okay guys, good morning. It is the next day. And I realized yesterday I didn't show you the date on my phone. I remembered after I was cleaning up the filming equipment, but yesterday was August. August 14th, here's my phone now, 
Hopefully you can see it is August 15th. It's the next day. So my hair is kind of a mess from sleeping on it. Um, I'm going to take it down. I expect it to look pretty decent because the next day the curls slightly fall out, but it still looks really good usually. So fingers crossed, but I do have a trick here to show you. So let me just pull out my hair here. Um, so at first it's probably not, not going to look great, but this is the trick. Um, these massive satiny, um, scrunchies. I actually discovered this from Jaclyn Hill, like, you know, hers on YouTube like years ago, but just, it's so loose that you can put your hair back and it like kind of keeps the formation, but it doesn't leave any crinks or, or weird things in your hair. So this is what we're working with. Let me just brush it out a little bit. I am planning on filming some today and my goal is to not have to really do anything to style it. But let's see. See, this is what I mean. The curl, like it still looks pretty good. Like I feel like my hair looks totally fine. So that's my update for today. Okay, I am back two days later. I actually did not do a check-in yesterday. It is officially August 17th. Shout out to my mom, it's her birthday. But yesterday we went to Kennywood, which is a big amusement park in Pittsburgh. We rode roller coasters, we rode crazy rides. I mean, I did nothing to my hair. I kind of just like put it back and it was flying around like crazy. So here is today. All I did was brush it. I've done nothing. I don't think it's greasy yet. Um, my The curl's definitely mostly gone out of my hair, but honestly, I feel like it's a nice, pretty natural wave. So I still don't even have to do anything with my hair many days later. But the tip of the day, when you take a shower, I'm obviously not washing my hair, but the trick into taking a shower is to truly seal your head, okay? You want to get a shower cap or any bonnet or whatever to seal out the moisture when you're taking a shower because that moisture can get in and really enhance any greasiness that might start happening. The other little trick that you can do if you have a shower like this, but if you have one of those handheld things, I would say like, like use that instead of the full blown shower head. So I went to a rodeo last night. Um, ew, it's August 18th, it's Friday. Um, but last night I went to a rodeo. It was a great, it was a great time. It was a great time. Have you been to a rodeo before? It was not ideal weather conditions. It, it rained the whole time um, and, and it was not supposed to do that. So I was not prepared. So I ended up putting my flannel over top my head. Then it got so bad, I decided to go find a garbage bag and I, I put that over my body. It was, it was kind of ridiculous, but honestly it was good memories, but this is what we're working with today. Okay, not good. It's just like a frizzy mess. Um, honestly up here still looks pretty good. I feel like tomorrow though, definitely we're gonna be dry shampooing, but today I'm going to refresh my hair. Again, I'm gonna use this In Common Magic Mist. A lot of people love this on wet hair, but some people don't know you can actually spray it on dry hair and actually use it to again, refresh your hair. So then you can go on to style your hair or curl it however you like, but I do think this magic mist really tames down any frizz. I think it makes your hair look super shiny, which is nice. And it just freshens up your hair. So I decided to go ahead and recurl my hair, but in much bigger pieces. I just wanted to save some time. And I do think this spray also just gives the curling wand something to grip onto and it just makes the curls look a lot better. So this is the freshened updated look. I think it looks pretty much brand new and I think this will continue to hold for the remaining days. So we will, we will, we will see what it looks like tomorrow. Good morning. It is Saturday, August 19th. It's actually pretty early in the morning for a Saturday. I mean, I, I woke up pretty early, already did my makeup um, and I'm going to take my hair down. Again, I was using this huge silk scrunchie and we're getting to the point guys. My hair is definitely like really greasy. It's just, it's feeling greasy. So we're gonna go in with a good dry shampoo. I have a lot of favorites, um, but my tip of the day obviously is to use a dry shampoo, but I use it in a very specific way that I think makes a huge difference. Like this, you guys need to try this. Um, but today I'm using Chlorine. Um, there's so many others that I love. You're gonna spray it and really get up, like, like lift your hair up, spray, lift. So obviously it creates this you know, cast, which isn't great, especially if you have dark hair like me. But the trick is to go in with a hair dryer and dry your hair. Not only does this push out the, the white cast, like the excess white cast, but it also, again, freshens up your hair, gives it some lift, some bounce, and it makes your hair look 
like, like not brand new, but pretty darn close. The curl, like I said from yesterday, is still pretty darn prominent. And there's some nice lifting going on. Doesn't look greasy anymore. I'm good to go. I have done it, guys. It's day seven. It is Sunday, August 20th and I haven't washed my hair in a whole week. So I'm getting ready for church right now. I'm wearing this dress. I've got some jewelry on. I already brushed my hair this morning and put it back just to wash my face and do my makeup. So I think it looks pretty good, but I'm still not sure if I'm going to wear it down or wear it back. We'll see. Um, but my tip of the day, I actually have a couple of them, is to actually use dry shampoo before you go to bed. So I did that last night, right before I went to bed, I just sprayed it all through my hair and then let it do its thing all night long. And I woke up and the white residue is completely gone. It just worked through the night to suck up the excess oils. So my other last tip is if it just looks horrible on this last day, you could always slick it back or you could wear a hat. Okay, there you go. But let's just see what it looks like. Um, it's definitely like a little like slicked down, but that's okay. Let's just brush it again. I think I might just wear it like this. So anyway, I feel like this was successful. You don't have to make it the full seven days. I hope you learned some things from this. I will have In Common's Magic Mist linked down below along with my promo code SHEA25 for 25% off site-wide. Again, if you're gonna try anything, this is what they're known for. I really think you will love it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this, got some inspiration, learned a few things, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.